Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMG Let's Play of The Uncle Who Works for Nintendo. Now, the last time I played this, I had a lot of questions about the game and I wanted to play more of it, so I went back and made the same choices that I did because I've learned that all these endings that are locked, it actually tells you what you may need to do in order to get that ending. So, this one here, it says things are a little weird here, try to run, but it may turn out to be a game of hide and seek. Um, otherwise, this one, it says, definitely weird here, decide uh, you don't feel like spending the night, call your mom and ask to be taken home, be sure you have enough time for your ride to show up, things like that. So, they give you hints as to what you need to do next. And there's still a lot of questions about this, like, what is up with the uncle? Why is he so, like, possessed? And does he actually work at Nintendo? And why are my memories messed up? And why did I accidentally film three intros for the last video? I don't know. There's just so many questions and not enough answers. So, I wanted to try this again, but I've heard from what I've read online, that you actually get more information if you choose your best friend as a female as opposed to a male. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to restart it from the beginning, and we are going to pick a girl's name. So let's go with uh, Ashley, I guess. All right, so I don't know how much different it's going to be in the actual setup for the story. It sounds like, uh, since it gives you the option to repeat it from 7 p.m., that things are going to change there. So... I'm guessing this is not going to be any different. Okay, she leans out the window. Okay, I'll be at work if anything happens. Call me. Yeah, we will call you. Okay, let's kiss her goodbye. Because last time we just waved and maybe she got mad and wouldn't offer to come back and get us. All right, after your mom parts, uh, after you part, your mom drives down the street, just ping around the corner, turn back to Ash's house. Okay. Head inside. So I'm going to try and make some subtle changes. I don't know if it's going to make any big difference for the setup or the reveal, but hey, it's a choose your own adventure and I will choose my own adventure. All right, so dinner will be ready in a few minutes. I don't remember what I said last time on this, but we'll go with okay. That sounds all right. Okay. Drop your sleeping bag. Grandfather clock, picture frames, okay, I don't think any any of this is any different. If you guys are wondering why I'm skipping this, please check out my initial playthrough of The Uncle Who Works for Nintendo because I did go through all of this and you'll be able to see me read all of it. But for those of you who have watched the previous video, I don't want it to be an entire repeat, so let's just go ahead and continue on. Okay, so you see the big screen, are we waiting for dinner? Sure. Alright, so I remember the cracks of beer thing, it said it was lemonade, so whatever that is. Alright, grandma the clock chimes. Two of you leave the dining room and head upstairs. Her room is immense. Okay. I stay in the den because it's larger there. Okay, entertainment center cabinet. Other things. Okay, yeah, so you notice all the other systems, which are kind of weird, but I think I said what are those last time? So let's say those look cool. Oh yeah, they're pretty cool. I can't show them to you though, they're still secret. I promise my uncle. And then you remember the uncle, the uncle who works for Nintendo. Okay, so now we should be getting closer to where we were. Let's see what time it is here. Okay, it's 7 o'clock, so this is where we were. Alright, now I've heard that you get different options and things, so let's talk to her about school. Told you she heard a teacher. You both had the grade before she was in the hospital. You ask why, she doesn't know. You spend time reminiscing about the prior year. An hour passes. That's different. Okay, what else can we talk to her about? Let's, let's check the picture frames again. Uh, yeah, look for her uncle, which last time we didn't see anything. Okay, not any. Time passes. What time is it now? It's 8.30. Okay, let's talk to her again about games. Talk about how much you like games. Ashley raises an eyebrow to your remark. What do you like about them? The chance of being a different sort of person, the challenge, solving puzzles and stuff, being a hero in the stories. Okay, this is actually different. So, let's see. The chance to be a different sort of person. Yeah, she says, that's a nice feeling. But something in her voice tells you she's thinking about something. What's up? You okay? Ignore it and change the topic. Uh, what's up? Do you think it's, it's weird to play games? She asks suddenly, and then, before you can say anything else, I mean like, is it weird for a girl to play games? I, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I don't know. Uh, let's go with I know what you mean. They say the same stuff about me. Everyone says it's weird that I'm friends with you. That's kind of mean and awkward. Girls don't play video games. Why don't you play girl games? You're not as good as this as a boy would be. I don't want to trade Pokemon with you. Girls don't play video games. Yeah, Ashley says, yeah. But they're jerks, who cares what they have to say? I'm sorry they're like that, I really am. I'm sorry, I... I'm sorry I don't stand up for you. Mmm, this is interesting, this is really deep. 
I thought it was just a point and click horror game, but apparently when you play uh, from a female perspective, it kind of gives you the insight as to what it's like to be a uh, an eleven year old girl who plays video games. Interesting. Okay, they're jerks. Who cares what they have to say? Now let's be honest. Let's be honest and open. Ashley looks surprised as if she never considered this possibility before. No, she says. No, you wouldn't have to do that. But I should. I uh, if you say so. No, I should. Why? Because I'm your friend. Because they're jerks. Because no one should be treated like that. Because they shouldn't treat people like that. Because they won't stop unless they feel like people will fight them. Because I'm sick of it. I just want to be able to be your friend and play video games and not have people be terrible about it. You go, girl. Oh, she says. Did I pick the wrong one? And then, thank you. Oh, you're welcome! Ashley returns her attention to the Nintendo, leaving you alone with your thoughts. The clock chimes. You are in the den. Ashley's mother bustles into the room, holding a large frying bowl full of popcorn under her arm. How are you kids doing? She asks. Really well, even though we had this very deep and insightful conversation. Hope you're having fun. Here's some popcorn and extra butter. Place it on the floor by Ashley. Uh, almost immediately, Ashley's shoving popcorn in her mouth. Meanwhile, her mother smiles at her and then back at you. There's some sodas in the kitchen if you get thirsty and some pizza from the other night if you get hungry. Uh, thank you. Let's be polite. Looks at Ashley. Father's got in the bed. Okay, and then, yes, uh, your uncle will be here around midnight. But the first time Ashley stops playing, stops playing her game, stops eating her popcorn, and turns to look at her mother. Okay, she says. I want you two to welcome him in. He'll be very tired and hungry, so offer him something to eat before he goes to bed. Okay, Mom. Good night, kids. And with that, she's gone. Now, this is really weird because... Obviously, Ashley's response, or Dave's response, when I was playing previously, was that they immediately stop what they're doing and kind of get very somber or solemn about what's happening. It's like they know that my character is in danger, um, but I don't exactly know what's going on about that. Okay, it began with Mew. Yeah, so I remember all this. It killed everybody in one hit, and no one else could get the same kind of Pokemon, which... They said that, uh, or she said it's because she got the gen the genuine one from Nintendo. Talk about the storm, which is another weird aspect. They, they refer to the storm. Um, and it's just like, you can't recall whether it really happened or not. Like, the narrator isn't trustworthy. So, it's just weird. Snap out of your reflections. What time is it now? It's 9.30. Okay. Talk to Ashley. Uh, ask her about the storm, which she didn't remember. Okay. You don't remember? Okay, it happened a few weeks ago. Okay, and she doesn't know what you're talking about. Can we talk about school? Ashley, you ask Ashley how she did on a math quiz. You had trouble with She got an A, of course. An hour passes. Okay. It begins raining outside. Is it getting close? It's 10 o'clock. Well, let's explore the bathroom in the kitchen, which I did last time, but there wasn't anything here. Pristinely clean. Linen closet. The toilet. Okay, so nothing's there. It's different. Uh, remember your own Mew. I'm going to talk to Ashley about more stuff. Can we talk about more games? You're bringing up subject fighting games very quickly, and Ashley involved in slow moving, not very serious argument about whether or not they are fun. Alright, that didn't help at all. Ask about the uncle's visit. Why is your uncle coming? Business. But I thought he worked for Nintendo. He does, Ashley said, frowning but not looking away from the screen. He's really important there. Um, does Nintendo have a lot of business here? Uh, why else would my uncle be coming? As if you asked the dumbest question in the world. Well, if it's it's cool if I finally get to meet him. Oh, what sort of business? Ashley pauses the game and turns towards you, visibly agitated. How should I know? I don't work for them. Right now, she, she is not quite yelling, but you think if you keep pressing the subject, she might. I'm not sure I believe you about your uncle. Let's push it. Ashley takes a moment to respond, as if not quite sure uh, she heard you quickly. What? Correctly, sorry. I don't believe your uncle works for Nintendo. You think you've finally done it. Ashley stands up, fists clenched, fist clenched at her sides, mouth twisting horribly as she struggles to say something. Uh, just as she... You watch as she takes it towards you and you flinch or you clench your teeth and wait. I'm mad. I'm gonna we're gonna fight. Ashley dives forward and pushes you back onto the hardware floor, clacking cracking your skull against the carpet. Good god! You take the initiative and throw a punch before she can go for you again. You take a moment to be dazed. Let's fight. Let's just freaking fist fight. You shove yourself up off the floor and send your fist into Ashley's stomach. For a moment, you're shocked at what you've done as she stands there gasping in her pajamas. But suddenly, bad expression, I hate you. 
you hear something or think you hear something. Someone's shouting and then you've fallen flat on the floor. For a moment, you don't think you can get up. Your whole body feels heavy. Did she hit you? I hate you, says Ashley. Leave me alone. You finally manage to sit up as she turns back to her again. You take a moment to collect yourself. What just happened? What was that? Can we talk to you about something else? Games. Ah, crap. I should pick something else. Alright, it's time, she says. Uh, stop being weird. I don't want to play games anymore. Someone locks at the front door. Crap! Okay. So this time we're gonna we're gonna hide. Uh where is it to go? Let's go to the kitchen. Passage does not exist. Kitchen. Bathroom? You run down the hall to the bathroom and lock the door behind you. At least this could have been the bathroom. The walls are bare and white and there's no sink or toilet. But there are some odd featureless white boxes that could stand for a shower or linen closet. Uh, okay. Um, you slip into a plain white box that is about the size of a shower. From the front of the house, you can hear the front door slam open. After that, you don't hear anything except back expression, child, the rain. No, not just the rain, but that voice in the back of your head, like, bad expression, I'm coming for you, child. It's like something you can't even begin to describe. Uh, though you lock the door behind you, you hear it open easily. Something walks in. Hold your breath or close your eyes. Hold your breath. You're not sure how you know something is out there because you don't exactly. Oh, child. Hear it moving, but you know it's right there. You know it's stopped. Poor, poor child. Right outside your hiding spot. It opens the door, even though you immediately realize it doesn't have any hands. Ah, I got caught again. You cannot run, child. Hello, child. No more worries, child. Hello, child. Struggle cease. Screaming cease. I have friends for you, child. Friends for you. In the dark. You will play forever. In the dark. Hello, child. I can't read anything else. Oh, it's a lot longer this time. Okay, that coding was a lot longer. Alright, uncle who works for Nintendo. Okay, that was run. You hide, but the uncle who works for Nintendo found you. Oh, I didn't see that last time. You met the uncle who works for Nintendo. Okay, so this time we need to ask more questions. Call your mom and ask to be taken home. Alright, I'm going to try one of those. Restart uh, at 7 in the den. Was your father drinking beer at dinner? No, he doesn't drink. Does that have to do with something? I wonder. I wonder if that has to do with something. Alright, I'm going to try again and see if there's anything else we can learn. Mm. I can't make a phone call. Alright. Ah, crap. It's already 11 o'clock. What can I do different? What can I do different? Okay, uh... Okay, you don't remember the storm. I actually forgot it until tonight. Okay, which is still really weird. An hour passes. Ah, oh, balls! Time for what? I don't know if this is going to give me a different ending or not. Scares. Go to the kitchen. I want to go to the kitchen. Can I not? All right, fine. We'll go to the bathroom. Let's try a uh, linen closet. Crawl to the plain white box is about the size of a linen closet. Uh, close behind you from the front of the house. You hear the front door slam open. I'm coming for you. Okay. Here, open easily. Last time we held our breath, this time let's close our eyes. Right beside your hiding spot. Doesn't have any hands. Ugh, I don't think it's any different. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do differently. I feel like I was asking enough questions, but... Maybe... That's not what I wanted. Okay guys, so I went through a second time and I didn't get a different ending, which I want to see if I can get at least one more different ending for you guys before I end this episode. This question really throws me off. It says, was your friend's father drinking beer at dinner? So let's say I'm not sure what I saw because last time I said that he wasn't. He was drinking the lemonade and maybe that plays a key role in what's happening here. So I tried to ask as many questions as I could, but nothing really changed. Mutual acquaintance moves. All right, so I'm just going to continually talk to Ashley. I, uh, 
There's nothing different. Go to the kitchen, the fridge. How about some cold pizza? No? Head back to the den. Clock chimes, I'm in the den. Ah, oh, crap! I wanted to be in the kitchen! Okay, time for what? Is your uncle here? Someone knocks at the front door. So, did the beer question do anything? Be scarce, go to the kitchen. The kitchen doesn't exist. This is what sucks about this. The kitchen doesn't exist. And I've hit them both. But nothing has changed. What is this? Why does it have question marks over it? I wonder. Can I right click it? No, that doesn't help any. Why, why do these expressions have question marks over them? I can't click them though. Alright. Open easily. Hold your breath. That's not giving me anything. Doesn't have any hands. Can I click one of these? Mm -mm. I can't resist this fight. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. Alright guys, so I've actually tried for a couple different times to get a different ending, but as far as I can see, these are the only things I can get. I can't seem to figure out how I'm supposed to call my mom to get taken home. And this one, you're supposed to ask a bunch of questions and things like that, but it just doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm going to have to wait and see if I can figure anything else out. It's still very, very interesting, and I like the kind of social commentary it has. If you guys want to see another episode, I will research into it more, figure out what prompts I'm supposed to be hitting. I just don't want to spoil everything for us in the meantime. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next MAMJ. Let's play.